Alright, welcome back. Yes, I just started just like this. Because, as I said, I use an emulator so I can do that. <laughs> and already I'm off in a random battle. Oh, wow. Oh, so... So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually gonna try and do, like, several episodes of these in, like, a day or whatever. That way there'll be plenty of new material for you guys to go through, especially if I get more behind on my reviews like I have been, which I'm really sorry for. It's just, oh, sometimes, some days there'll be the energy is not there. Some days I'll have like 10 million things I have to do around the house. Some days, like, like the uh, week of our show, you know, The Curious Savage, that pretty much drained me. So it was like, oh, and then the next week it got really, really busy. So, oh, so and there'll probably be more times like that, unfortunately for me. Uh, but... But as long as you guys are enjoying the reviews, then hopefully, hopefully I can be forgiven. Uh, but um, but yeah. Um, let's see. There's not much else to talk about. That's not. Oh, you little, you little underhanded, sneaky little, spung dunking, spung dunking, is. Oh yeah, spung. I know where spung came from. Spung, actually, if you ever hear me use the word spung, it came from an online radio show known as Two Cents. And one of the shows he did was um, make up your own curse word. And one of the curse words they made up was spung. Spung your dirt, you slutter puck. So, I, it's, it's like within like the live two-hour episode somewhere in there. And it was it's a really good show, and I think they're supposed to be working on starting up again. Now that two and his co-host have moved and they're getting situated, you do. And it's and like I said, it's a really good podcast, really good show. Good times are had, um, good times, intelligent discussions too, and I love it. You know, it makes you makes you use your brain meats for a while. And jumpy birds, and bots. I still think it was bad. Like in my last part, for those who missed it, I got killed by a bot. That was so bad. That was like more. That was like so pathetic. But I think what I'm gonna do on my way to um, the second palace, though, I may actually split this up into two separate segments, like on the way to the palace and then the palace itself. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go get the hammer before taking on the second palace. That way, if I do get a game over, then I won't have to go through all that caverns again. And I can actually get a few other things as well. Bagu is my name. Show my note to Riverman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bagu. Boom. And meanwhile, while I'm in that town, I think it's Saria. Yeah. Little fun fact for you guys who don't know, who don't already know. And if you're watching this, you may already know. But um, the characters from like Ocarina of Time were named after the towns in this game, like Saria and Darunia and Naburu. Oh, duck. And proud of it! You know, just once, I want to be able to use, like, the clip from Howard the Duck where uh, Phil yells at Howard the Duck and Howard is like, AND PROUD OF IT! It's like a really, really corny line, but it's just so funny to use in some contexts. Now, what I find interesting is, as you get on later in the game, look at that. It wasn't a person, it was a bat. So you gotta be careful who you talk to now. And ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the only time you will see Link speak in a game. That's not CDI. I found a mirror under the table. His first ever uttered line, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I don't know how many people would count the CDI games, though. Ooh, those games. I haven't played the Zelda ones, but I have. But I've had Link: The Faces of Evil, and it's. Mm, I would have beaten it if not for the control scheme and for the fact that, you know, you can't hardly, it's like, enemies are so, especially the bosses, I mean, it's like, first boss, it took me forever to figure out what I needed to use to beat the first boss, and then the second boss was no problem, and I got up to the third boss, and I had no idea what to use, I mean, should I use bombs, should I use this or that, but by the time you get down there, you know, you're so drained of health, and it's like, what? 
I mean, I would love to be able to like get a copy of that and emulate it and play it with a proper controller or something. To be honest with you. Oh, use my life spell and use this. I do not want to know what that old man does to you in there to refill your magic. I do not want to know. That's just that's got to be creepy. Riverman, you know Bagu? Then I can let help you cross. I hate that arbitrarily you can skip some checks boxes and then some you can't. Ugh. But that's kind of one of those pet peeves of mine, you know. And down to Death Mountain. Now the key to doing this area is, as I believe Lord Cat said, always go right. Ow! Moblin. We can't stop here. This is Moblin Country. Huh. But these bots are taking only one stab to kill now. Now, Octorox, on the other hand, they're still taking two. And what's my next level up? 500. Oh, goody. Oh, you son of a whore. Ow. Yeah, get up there and sword rape your face. I know, I know, I had one friend who, who like doesn't like like the rape analogies and everything. And you know, I do try and not use them, but sometimes it's just appropriate. Cause it's like Cause it's like you're pretty much being forced to have something stabbed into you. Against your will. Usually it's an enemy, in this case. And and, and, oh, and next thing I know, I'm going to have, like, enemies, you know, video game enemies' rights advocates coming in, like, I don't, I don't, I don't like you using uh, stab rape or everything. And it's like, oh, yeah, not these guys. I hate these guys. These guys are assholes. I think they're Dyra's or something. There we go. But, yeah, those guys are assholes. So, we Oh, no, not these guys again. Oh, crap. Like, come on, let's hurry, let's hurry. Oh, 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 come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Because I don't have enough MP to cast a life spell right now. But I do to cast a jump spell. And looky, it's a red magic jar. And that guy throws his asses. And I'm not going to fight you. Screw you, go away. Ah, here we go. Here we go, and boom, boom, boom. And there you go. So, yeah. Aw, oh, not this guy again. Ow! You know, an axe to the face is not going to feel good. And I've got to be careful, because this is my last life. So, you know what? Shield magic. You know, it's funny how it's called shield magic, but yet it does nothing for your shield. I guess it's the magic that's kind of shielding you, I guess. I don't know. Oh yeah, stay just out of range of my weapon, just in range of yours. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's good, yeah. But how many, how many enemies can I do that to, though? You know, be out of range of their weapons, but yet be in range of mine. None of them. None of them. Oh, look at this, a red bot. Those you don't see every day. Oh, you. Oh, you, you little... Little scrotum sucker, come here. Yes, I have an attack raise. Raise my attack. Boing. I like the attack raise. Yes. Ooh, yes. You know what? Life magic <laughs> plus a red magic jar. Yeah. And you can tell you're actually going in the right direction when you actually reach the caverns like these. Ow. That hurt. That hurt, you a-hole. You shot me, you a-hole. 
Oh, yes. And here we go. Look. Another red potion. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this is the fun part, kids. Getting the hammer. We're gonna get hammered. Ow. Ow, son of a whore. Son of a monkey. Gotcha. Oh. Ow. Son of a... Oh. Bouncy birdies. Ah! I think my next level up is at 700. Oh, no. Not you again. Ah! Oh. Ouch. Right in the face, man. Right in the face. So, you know what? You know what? I think... See, this is the exact reason why I wanted to get the hammer. Is so I wouldn't have to go around and do something... You know, go through the ca cavern again. Ugh. And of course, naturally, you have no experience to start with again. You have to start all the way back at the beginning with that level of experience. Ugh. You know, you could have had 699 experience points, and you die, and you get a game over, and it goes all the way back to zero. And it's like, no! Hey. Yeah, and, and my controller is, like, old and needs to be replaced or something. Uh, so, yeah. Come here. Come here. There you go. <laughs> 56 already. Oh, I'm catching back up. Ooh, yay. I guess the good thing about your strength increasing is your... is your uh, throne stabby, laser stabby thingy. Throne laser stabby thingy. Oh, ow. Wait, did that thing just take off one... one, bo one box of health? I mean, Jeebus, man. I really need to pay more attention to how much health things are taking off, I guess. And jump. Uh, I don't even know the whole... You know, I never really got into the whole crisscross thing when they were big. It was like, okay, there are a couple of kids, they're rapping about jumping, okay, whatever. Me. So, and again, I think... <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Oh, hey, look. Magic Charm. And some Octorox are taking less than two hits to be destroyed. I like that. Now, I think... Oh, uh, this again. Now, if I'm thinking right, maybe, just maybe, I wonder... <laughs> Might be a shortcut. A better way to get to the hammer. Maybe. Oh, look at this. Oh, wait. What's in here? Gotta be some experience or something. Yes. Valuable experience. 100 points. Should have done that before. Then maybe I would have had a level up when I needed it. But oh well. Live and learn, right? And it's just one space, and here you go. Ow. It's bad. It's like, it looked like he hit me and then just got destroyed. And did I mention I hate these bubbles? I really do. Uh, this particular area is not so bad for him, but... Really? I did all that for a fairy. Damn it! Uh, I thought it would be a shortcut, but I guess not. Oh well. Uh, what, what are we running at here? 15 minutes? Um... I guess I'll forego the hammer for now. Because I was going to try and do it, and then that way I could end it there. But I think I'm going to forego it since I had to go back to the beginning. And I really don't feel like going back through that again. Not now, at least. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this cavern and get whatever's in here. Uh, I think it's experience. You know, experience is always helpful. And you never know, I might be able to level up with it. Oh, you son of a. Come here. Take your take your face stabbing like a man. Mm -hmm. There you go. Boing, boing, boing. 
200. <laughs> now if I had 200 more, that would be even more awesome. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but my voice, I don't know, maybe, maybe my voice could handle one more. But, um... And look, a red potion just laying out there. Who leaves just random red potions lying on the ground? Who does that? I mean, that's, I mean, it's one thing to have it, like, guarded by a whole bunch of minions and monsters and everything. But, just leave it lying around? Who does that? Who just leaves a red potion on a path somewhere? It's like, oh, let's just hope some, some Hillian child comes and picks it up. Well, I don't know if Link's still technically a child in this one. You know. Oh, hey, 50. Oh, look, I have 100 experience left to go. Well, 108. Oop. Oh, look at this. Now, here's the game of chance. I'm gonna stab this thing. And what's gonna come out of it? Let's see. Oh, a red potion. Oh, look. Life. Boom. There you go. Alright. So, I'm gonna end this video here for now. And I will get back to you guys next time I do one of these. So, until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.